You can find all the resources and explanation PDF below in the description. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe to support my journey. There are some important things to consider when addressing case studies, which I want to mention before going into details. Firstly, it's crucial to understand the structure of the case study well, as we won't have much time to repeatedly read it during the exam. Once we understand the structure and industry of the case study, for example, whether it's gaming, manufacturing or healthcare, we can more easily apply Google's architectural best practices to the case study. While handling this case study, we will address it according to its characteristics. However, during the exam, it's important to focus on what the question is asking. Therefore, pay attention to key areas in the question, such as security, reliability, cost-effectiveness, performance optimization, and operational excellence. After thoroughly understanding the case study, you can map the most suitable services from the Google Cloud platform for this study. Let's start with reading the company overview. Company overview. TerraMirth manufactures heavy equipment for the mining and agricultural industries. They currently have over 500 dealers and service centers in 100 countries. Their mission is to build products that make their customers more productive. When we read the company overview, we can see three key points. TerraMirth is a global company which operates in 100 countries, providing extensive support and services through a large network of dealers and service centers. The company focuses on creating robust machinery design for demanding environments like mining and agriculture. A primary goal of the company is to improve customer productivity by minimizing equipment downtime and providing excellent customer service. Moving on with existing technical environment, TerraMirth's vehicle data aggregation and analysis infrastructure resides in Google Cloud and serves clients from all around the world. This means they store and process large amounts of data on Google's cloud servers, which allows them to handle large data sets efficiently and perform detailed analytics. A growing amount of sensor data is captured from their two main manufacturing plants and sent to private data centers that contain their legacy inventory and logistics management systems. The private data centers have multiple network interconnects configured to Google Cloud. TerraMirth collects sensor data from their equipment. This data is crucial for monitoring the health and performance of their vehicles. TerraMirth has private data centers where they run their older legacy systems. These systems handle important tasks like inventory and logistic management. The private data centers are connected to Google Cloud through multiple network interconnects. The web front end for dealers and customers is running in Google Cloud and allows access to stock management and analytics. Their web front end for dealers and customers are hosted on Google Cloud. These apps provide access to stock management and analytics, helping dealers manage inventory and view performance metrics. Let's jump into the solution concept. There are 2 million TerraMirth vehicles in operation currently, and we see 20% yearly growth. Vehicles collect telemetry data from many sensors during operation. A small subset of critical data is transmitted from the vehicles in real time to facilitate fleet management. The rest of the sensor data is collected, compressed, and uploaded daily when the vehicles return to home base. Each vehicle usually generates 200 to 500 megabytes of data per day. TerraMirth uses both real-time and batch data transfer methods. A small telemetry data is transmitted in real time from vehicles to support fleet management. This helps in making immediate operational decisions. Most of the sensor data is collected and uploaded daily when the vehicles return to their home base. This data is used for detailed analysis and long-term insights. Let's map these systems to the best Google Cloud services before moving on to the business requirements. I will start with best practices for real-time and batch data transfer pipelines. For the batch processing pipeline and analytics, we will need cloud storage, Dataflow, and BigQuery. For the real-time data transfer pipeline, we will need Cloud Pub, Sub, Dataflow, and BigQuery. Since this involves sensor data, I think IoT Core is also needed. Google Cloud GKE can be a good environment for the web front end. 
For the network interconnect, we can say that dedicated interconnect will be a good option due to the high data volume. Business requirements. Predict and detect vehicle malfunction and rapidly ship parts to dealerships for just-in-time repair where possible. TerraMurth wants to use data from their vehicles to predict when a part might fail and detect problems early. This way they can send replacement parts to dealers before a breakdown occurs, ensuring that vehicles are repaired quickly and efficiently. They will need machine learning models and data analytics such as BigQuery ML or Vertex AI to predict vehicle issues. They aim to find ways to lower their cloud expenses, especially during periods of low activity. This might involve scaling down resources when they are not needed and scaling up during the peak time. Increase speed and reliability of development workflow. By streamlining their development processes, Terum ERT can release new updates and features more quickly and with fewer errors. This involves using modern CI CD pipelines with tools like Cloud Build, Cloud Source Repositories, Container Registry, Jenkins, Spinnaker. Allow remote developers to be productive without compromising code or data security. They want their developers to be able to access necessary tools and data remotely while ensuring that all sensitive information is protected. This requires secure access control and robust cybersecurity management. Cloud identity and cloud IAM can be used for user management. Create a flexible and scalable platform for developers to create custom API services for dealers and partners. TerraMurth wants to offer a platform where internal and partner developers can create new applications and services. This platform should be flexible and able to scale according to the needs of different projects. Apogee is the best option for this. It is a flexible and scalable platform for developers to create custom APIs. Next, technical requirements. Create a new abstraction layer for HTTP API access to their legacy systems to enable a gradual move into the cloud without disrupting operations. Modernize all CI CD pipelines to allow developers to deploy container based workloads in highly scalable environments. They want to build a new layer that allows their legacy systems to communicate with new cloud based services through APIs. This helps them gradually move their operations to the cloud. Apogee provides a consistent API interface to legacy systems, enabling gradually migration to the cloud. The tools for CI CD pipelines to automate software development process to deploy container based applications are Cloud Build, Cloud Source Repositories, Container Registry, Jenkins, Spinnaker. We already implemented Apogee and CI CD pipeline into our design, so moving on with the next requirement. Allow developers to run experiments without compromising security and governance requirements. Create a self-service portal for internal and partner developers to create new projects, request resources for data analytics jobs, and centrally manage access to the API endpoints. They want to allow developers to try out new ideas without compromising security. This can be possible with setting up sandbox environments where developers can test their code safely. It can be possible with GKE for isolated environments. A self-service portal will enable internal and partner developers to create new projects, request resources, and manage access to APIs easily. Again, this can be possible with Apigee. Use cloud-native solutions for keys and secrets management and optimize for identity-based access. Improve and standardize tools necessary for application and network monitoring and troubleshooting. Cloud native tools like Google Cloud KMS should be used to create and manage keys and secrets to protect sensitive data. Cloud monitoring, cloud logging, cloud trace, VPC flow logs will provide comprehensive monitoring and quick troubleshooting capacity, ensuring system reliability and performance. Finally, when we read the executive statement, we can see a few key points. You can find my notes from the executive statement here. I would like to mention some of Google's common uses for GKE, Apigee, BigQuery. I feel like understanding Apigee common uses is really important for this case study.
This is Apogee web page and you can see quite a few common uses. Moving on with the BigQuery. You can find real-time and batch data processing pipelines which we used in this case study. And finally, GKE. You can see CICD pipeline in here and a lot more other common uses. Thank you for watching this video, hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you want me to add anything else.